Hello everyone. Last time we saw how to install and how to use this terminal emulator called console. And today I would like to show you yet another terminal emulator called Yuckwake. It's a drop down emulator and I show you how it works. So I go back, I went back to my host machine and here I also use Yuckwake and you can activate it with the function key F12 and it will come down and if you press again F12 it will roll up and it's always available, it's running in the background so whenever you need it just press F12 type your command and with F12 you can hide it again so let's see how to install it open a terminal for instance console and type sudo apt install yuckwake and on this machine it's already installed because I'm recording this video for the second time <laughs> uh, the first time there was a problem with the audio so I already installed Yuckwake and we need to oh it's already there so first I kill it okay so it's disabled completely we installed Yuckwake and you can start it with the Yuckwake command add this sign to start it in the background it started successfully and now we can close console and with F12 we can start uh, we can show Yuckwake and with F12 you can hide uh, in the p first video that had some problems I already configured it so I show again everything if you click on this icon then select configure Yuckwake and go to appearance and here there are some skins it was the default skin but I prefer this plastic dark here the icons are bigger you can also change the size of this terminal the height is 50% by default let's change it to 60% to make it a bit bigger and here there is a lock it means that if you click outside of Yuckwake the window stays there but if you unlock it then if you click aside it will roll up I think this is a better behavior and by default the font is very small so you can also change that manage profiles I already created a profile so oh, I cannot delete it <laughs> so here you can create a new profile mm, for instance new one and select it and edit it and under appearance as you can see it's very similar to console under appearance you can select the font the font size for instance 12 apply or make it very small 8 apply sometimes it doesn't change so in that case click on OK close and here press Ctrl D 
With Ctrl D, you can close this terminal window. Let's close it. Mm. I think the problem is that I didn't set it as default. So set as default. Close. Close it with Ctrl D. And now, if you open it again with F12, you can see the changes. But it's very small. So, let's go back to size 14. And this time, uh, it changes automatically. And here, there are different color schemes, like Linux colors, and the others that are familiar from console. I prefer this time black and white. And under scrolling, it is selected by default. Here we can also select unlimited scroll back, just like in console. And make this new profile that we just created the default. It is the default, that's why I cannot click on it. Close. And with F12, we can hide it. So we just covered the settings. And if you reboot your machine, your Quake won't start automatically. So just like in the case of GNOME panel, we need to add it to the list of programs that start automatically. So here, search start, startup applications will come up, click on it, and add your Quake. Uh, I will add it again. So add the new one. Its location is slash usr slash bin slash your Quake. It can be the name and the command, add. And now, if you reboot your machine, your Quake will also start. So, you reboot your machine and with F12 you can access it immediately. When do I use it? I don't do any serious work in this terminal. I usually use it to launch some other programs. For instance, if for some reason I wanted to start Firefox from the command line, I could do it from here and then hide it. Or I usually do the system update in Yakwake. We have this update script. I start it here, provide the password, and then hide it. And I continue working. A minute or two later, I look at the state of the update process. Here, Ctrl Shift T also works. You can open a new tab. Mm. I also use the Python shell here. If I need a calculator, I do the calculation, I have the result, then I hide it. With Shift left and right, you can change between the tabs, so with shift left I can go back, there were no updates, hide it. So that's how I use it. And some extra info, why is it called Yakquake? And actually its name comes from the video game Quake, which was made in the 90s. This is an FPS game and uh, this game also had a terminal, a console, uh, that worked in this uh, drop-down fashion. And here you could type cheat codes and other settings, and uh, it was a drop-down console. So the name Yakquake refers to this <laughs> video game called Quake. Okay, so today we saw another terminal emulator, Yakquake, 
which is very useful but not essential so it's up to you if you use it or not it's optional but I find it very useful so thank you for your attention